WPTV. Welcome back to the desk. Round two of the NBA playoffs is coming to a close and the conference finals are just about upon us. Here to break down the electric NBA playoffs with me, we have Naiji, Mikey, Andrew, and Fritz. You know, guys, the NBA playoffs isn't the only thing making headlines. We'll get to that in a second, obviously. But all NBA defensive teams have been announced. A lot of great names on. A lot of people have been left off. Mikey, I'll kick things off with you. Who do you think got snubbed? I think it's got to be the Burrow. I mean, when he's on the court, he is a stalwart for the Lakers. Uh, nine defensive rebounds a game, two blocks a game, one steal a game. You know, like, he guards centers even though he's not a true center. He guards wings. He can do everything. He's catalyst for this defense when he's on the court. And uh, he's the reason he's still where they are in the playoffs. Yeah, up 3-2 on Golden State. Going to go back, uh, have a chance to close things out on their home court in L.A. Should be very exciting. Fritz, who do you think was left off? Yeah, sticking with the Lakers, I'm going to go with Jared Vanderbilt. You know, when the trade deadline happened, that was one of the pieces that I was very excited about that the Lakers were able to get. He would completely change their defensive game plan and unlocked a lot of potential for them. You can see his versatility based off his matchups in the playoffs. First round, he guarded Ja. Second, game, second round, he's been sticking with Steph. A really good perimeter defender, long, athletic. As long as he can make up more of his offensive um, lapses, he'll be a great pickup for the Lakers. Yeah, that great kind of infusion of youth, length, three and D for the Lakers really helped them make a push. Andrew. Got to go with former MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo of the Milwaukee Bucks. As you can see from the stats, averaging about 10 defensive rebounds a game as well as a block and a steal per game. Opponents shooting 45% against them. Not the best, not the worst. Listen, he's a former Defensive Player of the Year. He's been on this all-defensive team five times in his career. Nobody would have batted an eye if he was selected to this team. I definitely think he should have gotten on there. He tweeted he's tired of the disrespect. He said he's coming next year. I mean, I think the disrespect, if, I don't think if Giannis gets disrespected, but if any, it was probably because you lost to the Heat. Yeah. But neither way, Naiji, who got left off? <sighs> Mitchell Baby Matumbo Robinson, an anchor of the New York Knicks. Yo, like he been he been the heart and soul of the defense for the New York Knicks, and what what probably you could say right here is the main factor why the Knicks is we're, we're on a little run in, in the playoffs right now, and just deep in the playoffs, we're averaging two, averaging almost two blocks per game, and about five about five defensive rebounds per game. He is the anchor of the Knicks, and he would and he's he's our defense. Yeah, no, definitely been a key contributor for the Knicks. Really shut down Evan Mobley, Jared Allen. Big reason why they helped. Uh, the Knicks win the series against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Made me very happy to see that happen. Moving over from one Easter Conference series to another, the Celtics and Sixers are fighting, going to go to Game 7. The Sixers had a chance to close out on their home court. Andrew, it was a good game. Sixers uh, leaving their home court unhappy, going back to Boston. Boston had a chance to win on their home court, go to the Eastern Conference Finals once again. Talk to me about the game. Yeah, we'll take a look at the highlights from this game. It was a great game overall. For the Celtics, not so much for Jason Tatum until we hit that fourth quarter, but we see a really tough layup right there by Jalen Brown. He had a solid game, and Embiid, he did his thing once again. Harden was the issue last night for them. And listen, man, Jason Tatum, one for 13 in the first three quarters. Guy goes four for eight for 16 points in the fourth quarter. I mean, we see this to one-point game. This guy, nasty step back right there. Gonna bang that one in for Trey, give him a four-point lead. And then we see later on in this game, you know, Jason Tatum fighting for boards and, uh, you know, he's going to come back and he's going to hit another three right here to really seal the deal right over in B2. Such a tough bucket. And listen, man, game seven tomorrow, I need Harden to be on his game if he wants a chance to win. And Jason Tatum cannot do that, a one for 13 performance again in the first three quarters. Yeah, I doubt they'll be able to do that. Sixers definitely squandered that opportunity. A star player not playing well like that, you need to close out your home court. Sixers just couldn't hit enough shots. Mikey, what did you see from the game? Where do you think it's going? You know, you're not going to have Marcus Smart have 22 7 and 7 again. But, you know, Tobias Harris for me, the third option on this team, I don't know, you know maybe Maxi, but. He had two points, two, three, and six was his stat line. You know Tony Snell games? It was a Tony Smell game because he stunk. You know, Charles, Bar <laughs> Charles Barkley coined uh, the triple single. That was a nice triple single from Tobias Harris. But, Fritz, the series is obviously going seven. Who do you think is going to go to the Eastern Conference Finals? What did you see from the game last night? Yeah, I think it's going to be the Celtics. Personally, I was really disappointed with the 76ers last night. You're the MVP of the league with Joel Embiid. 
game six on your home court. You should have came out with a game seven mentality. This is a game, this was a legacy game for Joel Embiid. He had the chance to win the MVP and send the Celtics packing on his home court. Instead, you know, yes, he did have a pretty good game, but in the closing moments when things were critical, he was a shell of himself. James Harden completely shrunk. And as Mikey already um, stated, Tobias Harris had a really bad game. I don't think that they're going to be able to bounce back and win in Boston for game seven. Think the Celtics repeat, go back to the Eastern Conference Championship. Yeah, winning back-to-back -back games in Boston will be a tough task. They just did it in game five, so we'll see. But Najee, what are your thoughts on this series as a whole? I'm going to say this. It's a must-win for, for the Sixers in game seven. Not alone, like, it's a legacy game for, for Harden, Embiid, and probably even Doc Rivers as a coach. So, so I'm predicting right now, Harden, it's Harden, going to do, Harden going to do two things. Either have a master class game where he averaged a triple, like not average, but we have a triple double, high high points and high assists, or he going to stink up the joint and next thing you know, the Sixers back home and in, in Boston going to the conference finals, probably going to the finals if they meet, but if they if they meet the Knicks, if the Knicks make it to the, the Knicks make it to the game, make it to the make it to the conference finals, I don't know, man. Them Knicks got some bad boys out there. JB crazy. Interesting, you also mentioned Doc Rivers. You know, out of all head coaches, he has the most game seven losses ever, period, for a head coach. I think his job will be on the line if they lose this game. Oh, most likely. If they lose this game seven, I think he's def he definitely getting fired. They might they might move on for him. But I have hope. I have hope in my sixes. Yeah, they no. ain't my sixes. They're definitely going to have to pull it out. Doc Rivers, definitely a great point brought up by you guys. Definitely, definitely on the hot seat, probably, if you blow this one again. I mean, you've got the experience over Joe Mazzulla. His head coach is coming to question, so it'll really be a nice battle of wits between those two head coaches for a game seven. Moving on to another series, the West. Uh, the Phoenix Suns were not as lucky as the Boston Celtics. Could not get a win to force a game seven against the Denver Nuggets. Nuggets came in absolutely dominated, punched their ticket to the Western Conference Finals. Naiji, what did you see from this matchup? So, if we look at this highlights of the game, the Nuggets did a job throughout the host, um, throughout this whole game six. See, we start in the second quarter right here. Yoke has been the Yoke has been the whole been the dime piece of this of this whole playoffs right now. And you see him looking look, look this all the little pin down, KCP was the star of this game too. Almost 20 point um 20 plus points. Book coming out here. Book him, even though he had a good first half, book it. Book it ended the game with 12 points. And we'll cut to the fourth quarter. Jokic again running his offense. Little little pose looking for somebody, but just too much. This this Nuggets team just came out high and look, little little pick and roll action, just Jokic. And honestly, he is the MVP of uh, MVP of this playoffs right now. You know, Jokic has been great all season long. Maybe he feels maybe he feels a little bit disrespected. He didn't get triple MVP. He dropped 50 at one point, another triple double. He's been doing all on all facets of the game. Fritz. Uh, Sun's a little disappointment. Nuggets really proven why they're the one seed. Talk to me. Yeah, this just shows you why team building matters, okay? A lot of times you look at these rosters that are top heavy with talent and think they're just going to steamroll through the rest of the team. And then you look at a team like Denver, you have pieces like, you have pieces like, um, Aaron Gordon that are coming off of the bench, someone that was known as a dunker in the past who has really, you know, stepped his game up, become an offensive option, become a great defensive player. You have people that are stepping up. Jeff Green still, in his even as his age right now, still playing quality minutes for the Nuggets. It just shows that top-heavy teams can't compete with teams that are built to win, have had the experience with each other, and are really deep in the playoffs. Yeah, no, depth is Clearly crucial. The Suns gave up the farm for Kevin Durant. Can't blame them, but just not enough on that roster uh, last night, clearly. Mikey, what do you see from the series, uh, the, both these teams going forward? You're not going to win the game if campaign's your leading scorer. Um, you know, you're missing the corpse of CP3 years too late. And, you know, DeAndre Ayton's a fourth option, and he acts like he should be a number one. He's not. Devin Booker is not that guy. The Nuggets are too deep. Jokic is too good. That's just what happened to him. Devin Booker had a kind of historical playoff. Right? I don't care. I don't like <laughs> Devin Booker as a person, and he thinks he's him, and he's not. You know, he's going chirping in Lucas' face. He is not on that level. KD's on that level. Devin Booker is not on that level. I mean, to be fair, Luka is at home watching him. It doesn't matter, though. He's got no team. This man has Kevin Durant. I, you can't go wrong Luka with that. Luka had Kyrie for a good amount of, like, amount of Oh, yeah, season. Kyrie I'm Irving. Just, I'm just oh, saying. the earth is flat all day. I'm just saying. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to come in. I'm yeah. just saying, look at Luca. They lost their way out the playoffs. They wasn't in the playoffs. They lost their way out. Oh, the playoffs. you know what happened last year? Luca embarrassed the Suns to send them home. They got embarrassed again. Lost by 25. 
It's okay. <laughs> he, he's letting it all out on his last one. He's letting it all. <laughs> oh, out. you wait till what you say next. I don't know. He's letting it all hang out. Andrew, close us out. Well, man, you know it is no secret. I am a known Phoenix Suns hater, but boys, Chris Paul the Suns haters, are out, man. Chris Paul, he adds to his Hall of Fame <laughs> resume of being unreliable in the playoffs and never being there for his team. Oh, it's three funny. straight years where the Suns disappoint their fans. They have absolutely no fight in them once again. They go get Kevin Durant. He's chipping off to Denver tomorrow. He's going to go play <laughs> for the Nuggets now. Chris Paul's a fraud. Kevin Durant is a fraud. He will never get it done without Steph. I will die on this hill. I am so uh, happy the Suns I'm lost. I don't even care I'm if the Knicks win no. tonight purely because the hey, Suns hey, are hey, out. Man, I'm going to stop you there right now. There's no Chris Paul slander on his There's so much no, Chris, no, Paul Chris Paul slander on his When's the last time he was reliable Chris Paul is better than your favorite Joker. point guard. He better, and he's Joker. better than your favorite point guard, too. Uh, so I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Chris Paul, he's got no fight. We not he's got no, no fight. Curry, he, got, he got injured it's and not, not 2014, yo, we, bro. Yo, he got injured not, yo, not, <laughs> not, <laughs> not <laughs> well, said, bro. He was disappointing then, too. Yo, 2014, you're bro. in the past, yo, bro. That was a yo, decade yo, ago yo, the guy was uh, good. Your favorite point guard, everybody can get eliminated. I don't care. Like, Chris Paul, yo, I don't, yeah, I don't want Chris Paul slander. I don't, yo, it's two things in this that can't happen. He, has a, Nick he doesn't play in the playoffs. I'm not going to get too far yo, 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 into it, but he, 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 it's just He's, a, he's an older man. He got hurt. He got hurt. Like, like come on, come on. on. CP three years too late. Yo, hit, like, hit me. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> All right, I got one, one thing I want to say. Font, Isabel, put camera two on me real quick. It's on. The New York Knicks. <laughs> no, like, do, I, I, what, you get what I mean. The New York Knicks. Game six tonight. We're all passionate about it. Do something. You wanted the garden. You're going to Miami. Give me what I want. Monday night, MSG. I might buy a ticket for all I care. It's going to be fun. I want to make it happen. I was wrong. I came close to cursing on the desk a couple <laughs> weeks ago about the Knicks. I thought they'd lose. They have a chance. I want fights. I want passion. I want to beat the Heat. It's all about the Knicks, baby. Go, 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 go,